Did you sleep well last night? If not, you could be part of the majority of us who have insomnia due to cancer, or heart disease, arthritis, could be menopause, depression, medications that interfere with your sleep. So you're, you're not alone. And if you have insomnia for any reason, it weakens the immune system. It makes it almost impossible to recover from, from these illnesses, including obesity. Getting enough sleep can change your life. It changed mine. Who better to help you sleep than me? Because the sleep system that I recommend lifted me out of seven and a half years of chronic fatigue syndrome. When I was 38, I was loving life. I was active in many sports. I had an adorable little daughter. I, I was working as an ex, a cardiac exercise physiologist and I actually thought I knew everything about energy. In fact, I had just completed my first marathon, so I was really proud of myself for that. But two months later, I could barely crawl out of bed. I had extreme pain, my muscles weren't working, my brain wasn't working, I, was, I wasn't sleeping during the night, and I was barely awake during the day. I, I almost felt like I was moving through a fog or swimming underwater. Soon, I had a, such extreme body pain that I had to use an ice pack to sleep, I had to drive with an ice pack on my back, I had severe uh, headaches, I had a low-grade fever. I was, I was sensitive in the environment to smells, to light, to sound, and I, I was stunned. I was in shock with it all. I had been a person who had, had excelled at everything and now was just really miserable. I missed seven years of work. I really missed seven years of life. I lost my income, my image, my intelligence that used to be so quick, and the, the most painful of all really was the loss of my independence. My athletic friends left me behind, and my loving boyfriend tried to understand and help, but how, how could he understand? I didn't even understand it myself. And the truth is, I was embarrassed. I hated feeling helpless. I hated having to ask for help. I wasn't even able to greet my daughter when she came home from school. And um, she was only eight or nine years old. I, she helped me so much. She was in tears trying to help me. Vacuum, running and fetching. It was just way too much responsibility for a little girl. I remember one time I was chopping broccoli and I just fell to the kitchen floor in a heap. I was in so much pain. And I'll never forget the look in her eyes. She was really frightened. And so was I. To get better, I tried every medical and complementary option on the planet. Uh, some things worked a little bit, but nothing worked a lot. I became worse. One night, I remember clearly, I just was in so much pain. I didn't feel like I could even live another moment in my body. I got into my car and I drove into a nearby park. Uh, and I parked under the trees, I locked my car doors. It was autumn, and I just cried and cried. And I, well, I, I screamed. I screamed with the pain and cried and cried and screamed. I, I just wanted to die. Suddenly, I felt, I felt awake and alert and brilliantly aware. Um, and then it was as if the trees around me were cradling me, they were embracing me. Uh, I felt just a complete and utter love and there was almost, yeah, there was a humming vibration that I could feel I was, all, I was floating in the strength of it. It was magical. And then I realized I felt no pain. I had no pain. I could not feel my body. Really, words are inadequate to describe these out-of-body experiences, that pure, unconditional presence, pure, unconditional love. I understood then what I needed to know, that I was so much more than my physical body. My pain and fatigue were really just a very small part of me, and that my spirit, my core, was strong and solid within me. So after that divine visit to heaven, I started to recreate for myself the conditions in body and mind that foster out-of-body states. And what a relief it was for me to be pain-free, even just for moments. 
I've now been thriving for over 10 years, and it's my privilege, really my responsibility, to share with you what I've learned. During my long hours in bed, resting and recovering, I use meditation, visualization, self-hypnosis, and different energy practices to coax my consciousness out of my physical body. I learned how to intentionally invite sleep and to recall my dreams and to be acutely aware of my higher levels of consciousness. My sleep time became sacred. My simple process is step one, do 10 or 15 minutes of journaling before you sleep. Step two is a simple breathing exercise once you're tucked in bed. Step three is a very comforting, peaceful body scan. Don't worry about how to do it. I can help you with that. It's very easy. If you wake up during the night, again, just repeat steps two or three. This system will help you feel refreshed in the morning, no matter how complex your emotional or physical situation may be. It's almost impossible to recover from illness if you're not sleeping well. This is the most important step you can take. Not only are you getting the physical benefits of sleep, but you're deepening your connection to spirit. In this sacred time, you access your inner wisdom and you can uncover where your thinking may be unhealthy. Once you understand the power of the mind to influence the body, you have all kinds of power to feel better. Learn to appreciate sleep and use it as fuel for your body and soul. It is the opening to the most effective source of healing, your own spiritual strength. Imagine a world where you wake up revitalized every day and you have all the energy you need to create the life you want.